My name is Jim Leary, and um, I'm in Sebring, Florida. I moved here uh, about 11 years ago. I moved here from Fort Lauderdale, and uh, um, I wanted to get out of Fort Lauderdale. I'd been there since kindergarten, and uh, I finally got an opening uh, where um, I could afford to retire, and uh, I chose Sebring. Sebring is a race capital of the South, along with Daytona, but it's also a small rural town. Because I've got a little bit of racing in my history, but uh, the um, real estate prices were, were very eye-opening compared to the coastal cities. And uh, I'd like to reiterate, I'm very happy with my moving here because uh, I think it draws a lot of retirees, actually, uh, cost of living. I tried to... Uh, tell people that I paint with glass or it's uh, kind of a collage form. Um, well, one of the first thing I do is tell them that it's difficult to describe. Mixed media, you know, there could be wood, metal, glass. The only common thread through my work is the window. Each piece uh, changes. There's no continuity in it, you know, and I enjoy that a lot. You know, I don't want to just do similar, 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 similar. Not me. You know, I have a lot of windows, and, and I call them blanks when they're not anything yet. And uh, I don't like for them to be piled up. I like for them to be on the wall because I can't get inspiration from a pile. But when I see the possibilities of the window frames that I do have, then that can point me into a certain project. Because most a lot of them have themes, and I want it to be as authentic as possible so there's no question whether it be sand, a guitar, a real baseball with real nice orange dirt on it. I have quite an inventory of goods to pull from, but uh, I imagine one day I'll run out. And there are things that I definitely need uh, that hold up uh, progress on the windows. There could be little obstacles. You know, one of the nicest compliments I got is a person came in one time and he was in the arts and uh, he said, I don't see anything dark or controversial or explicit that would cause some kind of controversy. And I took that as a compliment, you know, that means uh, it's all uh, PG-13, if you will. You know, uh, I don't go into the dark subject matter. Uh, I don't invite that into my life. I wouldn't say all my pieces are humorous, though. I, uh, I think that's uh, a far cry. There's uh, a few, and there might be one piece in there that's tongue-in-cheek. This is a fairly recent piece that uh, I responded to the climate activists uh, going around uh, all the museums and, and throwing food at uh, artwork or uh, uh, gluing themselves to it. I got a can a can of Campbell's tomato soup, as you can see. So I open it up and I hold it up to the sunlight and I got my color chart out there and I'm going color by color. And jalapeno is the color that is perfect for tomato soup. I filled a cup and like that. I wanted to be a little bit more of a violent splatter, but and I, I even before, I had so much planning and thought about how to do it and, uh, you know, I thought if I didn't like it, I'm going to redo it. But there's no sense. One take, that's it. Throw the paint at it. But I like the drips, too. I didn't want it to go for too long, so I had to flatten it back out because I didn't want it to sag right to the bottom. I, I needed these. I always like to have, because they are windows, I like to have a light come through them in some way. It's called You Are, <laughs> and uh, we can, can't fight that. But um, I mentioned before that I used to use uh, some scrapbook paper in my work, and this was left over. This would uh, represent a cowhide. But to me, it looked like a map. And you know, they, you, when you look at a map, you expect to know where you are someplace. and. Rather than say, you are here, it's just an uplifting thing. You are, like you are valuable, you are uh, important, you are, you fill in the blank. I started it out. 